Fall Collective, welcome back to the platform. I'm back. What you, what you gonna do now? Anyways, I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as well. As always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray and ask that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Okay. Whatever your enemies have stolen from you, it is returned to you. <clears throat> All evils, evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. All bondages are removed in your life, in your path, placed there by your enemies and returned to them. All chains are broken in your lives, placed in your place there by your enemies, and return to them. Okay, they're broken in your lives, reattached in your enemies' lives. Okay, yep, reattached in your enemies' lives. Okay, as I have said, so shall it be. And judgment is final. So our Oracle card, it says overcommitted, okay? It says saying no to some things shows what ma oh, shows you what matters. Strike a balance, okay? So don't overextend yourself. Um, I wanted to get on here and man to talk a little bit about uh, whew, releasing karmic soul ties because I think there are people that watch me that are dealing with these soul ties, right? Because these soul ties, they go back past lifetimes, right? And you keep incarnating, being stuck with the same people time and time again, not realizing why it is you're stuck with them. And this is what the this is the energy you all are always in. You go from what? Loving, being lovers to fighting. Back to back. It's always the same thing. So someone, I think there's someone that watches my channel. You're struggling with this. You don't know how to let go. Um, and the easiest, well, I, it's not easy. Okay, I'm not going to say it's easy. But <clears throat> the best way to remove soul ties or release them, those toxic ones, is to let them go. Cut your loss and let them go. Okay, forgave. And that's something a lot of us struggle with doing is forgiving. We don't know how to forgive. Okay. We have people, let's say you're in a, a toxic relationship with someone and it's been, it's been a nightmare, honey, for years. Okay. A nightmare for years. And you know, you keep going back and back like that rebound thing you get together break up, get together, break up. It's toxic. You're always arguing. Uh, maybe someone is even involved into some type of dark magic, black magic. Yeah. You're just stuck, stuck with this person. Okay. It's that you can go, um, a whole year without dating them. And then as soon as you see them, you two are back again, in this toxic cycle. Okay. Okay. And when you're with them, they're not treating you nice. They're not kind to you. They're just leeching off of you some, in some way, shit, somehow, whether they're taking your energy, just taking your money, whatever it is. How do you get, how do you break those ties is to let them go and forgive. Like sometimes you got to cold turkey these people. I'm telling you, you got to cold turkey some people in your life. Stop responding. Stop communicating with them. Text messages. Stop it. Phone calls. Stop it. Dropping by to visit. Stop it. Don't let them stop by to visit you either. Emails. Just like go cold turkey. Because a lot of the times what you all don't understand is that you are dating narcissists. And the best way to get rid of them is to go cold turkey. Don't interact with them. Act like they don't exist. Okay. And then some of you have people that are just there to leech off of you. They don't know how to be self-dependent. Uh, 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 self-sufficient. They're cold dependent on you. You might as well be walking around with them in your mouth. You know, they're, they're fish in the, in nature that carries its babies in its mouth, or even the kangaroo that carries the baby in the pouch. You might as well be that for that person. Okay. And you are out here enabling people 
to keep you, keep you bounded and you're saying, oh yeah, we've been together for, you know, 20 years, since high school, since middle school. Nobody cares about any of that. Your soul ascension is what matters. Nobody care how long you've been with someone. The universe don't give two hits with how long you've been with someone. You are here to learn a lesson. And the reason you're stuck with that karmic, whether man or woman, is because you haven't learned a lesson and you can't blame that karmic because you keep putting up with that every day. So there's someone on my platform, uh-huh, you need to go seek, seek counseling. Seek counseling. You see that owl right there is seen right through you. That you, you, you're out here singing a whole Nicki Minaj verse talking about how, do, how, how is that hour seen through you. You need to seek counseling, professional help, okay? They'll open your eyes to what toxic ways that you have. You need to let go of your relationship with people. They'll break it down with you so that you know who's who in your life. And be honest with yourself when you go to counseling. You may even just need to go to a practitioner. So they, can, so they can do some readings for you. And when you're done, have no regrets about what you're doing right here. Have no regrets. When you heal fully, right, you open doors for yourself. I'm telling you, you open doors for yourself. This is why a lot of you, your lives are stagnant because of the people you're dealing with. You've been in the same group for I don't know how many years. You're not prospering. This is you all the time. <clears throat> But when something needs to be done, you're the first one to be in action. I'll do it. They ain't doing nothing for you, though. Some of you are committed to institutions that are not committed to you. I'll say that again. Some of you are committed to institutions that are not committed to you. I'm telling you, they're not committed to you. Okay? These institutions, some of them look at you all like slaves. That's all you'll ever be to them. You, you, call, you, you go in every day to work, every day into those meetings, whatever this is, cold COVID institutions, enterprises, um, baby, they don't get two hits about you. It ain't no love. There's no love. Where is the love? There's no love. It's all about money. Hoarding as much of it as possible. That's all they care about. They don't care about you. And you all know that. You all know that. That's why they be trying to shut people like me up. Because we wake you up to the, to the 411, the 911. You all are in 911 situations. And you wake up every day trying to show your uh, loyalty to these companies, these, these covens, these institutions. And they don't give two hits what happens to you. Not a thing. But you're, you're, you're proving your loyalty. You need to break these soul ties, these toxic ties. Okay? And again, I'm telling you, toxic ties. These are you... This is you all in these organizations, in these codes, these covens. This is you. You have this cray cray above you, uh huh, making all the calls, telling you what to do. Some of them they have you, you know, uh, 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 doing favors with your body and things like that. You know what they do when you first start in a community that is. Let's say, what do they call those people? Uh, uh, what was the Charles Manson thing they called him? Yeah, yeah, Charles Manson was a crazy man. He, he, he was in a cult. But there's, there's another word for it that I, I, it's not coming to me. Anyways, when you go into these institutions, these communities, and they see that they can make money out of you, you can be of value to them. What do they do? Honey, they'll go all out giving you stuff. Whether it's kindness opportunities, everything. Oh, honey, they're prepping you. You know, like how we prep Thanksgiving dinners? Oh, yeah, they're prepping you. They're going to put the seasoning, put the seasoning in there, put the oil, the butter, whatever you use, some lemon juice, you know, rub it real well, stuff it, make sure it's good. That's them stuffing you when they're giving you stuff to make sure you're satisfied. You have no reason to, to want to leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have no reason to want to leave because they are giving and giving and giving to you. Oh, honey, they're prepping you. You know how they were prepping? Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, uh, Hansel and Griddle? Oh, yeah. They're prepping you. They are prepping you to present you to the rest of the group. 
And once they're done prepping you, that's when they come in. Oh, honey, the coats don't, they, they wine, dine, and trap you. Wine you, dine you, and trap you. Now that you're trapped, you can't move, you can't leave, you can't do nothing. Every day, they're making requests off of you. Hey, we need you to go and do this. And slowly, it starts progressing. Before you know it, you're full-blown in a coat. You can't say you don't want to. They're blackmailing you, setting things up, telling you, oh, everybody in here does it. Oh, they're recording you. While you're doing it, they're recording you just so one day you, you decide you want to leave. You say, oh, come, 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 come. Have a seat, brother. Have a seat, sister. We got something to show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see this right here? If you ever try to leave, we're going to expose this to the community. Oh, or you can't go. Okay? And a lot of the times, these institutions, honey, they have someone they don't put right in front of you. They're going to come in and be your best friend. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. They're going to be your best friend. They know how to carry themselves as a divine feminine, divine masculine, but they ain't that. They are not that. They've been trained on how to present themselves in that light. And you're there talking about, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I got a good job and I found a good woman. I found a good man. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It ain't what you think it is. Someone is put in front of you just to get you stuck, just to trap you. They're reporting back to everybody else. And I'm just using the institutions as an example. We can get to the personal side too. Okay. Every interaction they have with you, they are reporting it to the higher ups. That person has been in that institution for years, decades. They are committed. Their time to leave this institution out in the cold is way gone. Some of these people have been there for 10, 20, 40, 50 years. All of their hopes of escaping is gone. And here you are. They're prepping you like a Thanksgiving dinner. And you're just there stuffing yourself with your gifts. Oh, honey, what do you need? You need something to drink? Putting stuff in the drinks. Oh, honey, what do you need to eat? You want something for lunch? Putting stuff in the food. Oh, yeah. What are they putting in the food? Spell work. So you can fall in love with that Jizzy Bell presenting herself to be an empress. Before all of this, what? You probably didn't even look that person way at all. They were not your type. But they don't went to a practitioner, get, got themselves a little voodoo, he do, she do, they do, do, and sprinkle a little bit of sunshine on there, i.e. darkness. And you're just eating away. You're done eating. All of a sudden, what? You're in love with someone you never had emotions for. And it's going to keep going because every time they give you something to drink or eat, because guess what? Sprinkle a little bit of sunshine. Okay? Now, let's do it from the personal side. You meet someone, let's say you meet them at work too. They've been in a coat for a long time. They see you, you have a light about yourself. Yeah, your light bothers the demons within them, but they are there to convert you to the dark side. This person is coming in. Oh yeah, they're going to come in. But when they come in, they're not going to show this energy, honey. They're coming in with a lot of lust. Going to make you feel like they chose you. You are their one true love. They've done this before. Oh, they're saying their first rodeo. And while they are whining, dining you, honey, oh, they're telling the rest of the crew what's going on behind the scenes. They all do the same thing, whether on an individual level or enterprise level, institutional level. They're telling everybody behind the scenes, oh, I found this earth angel. He's this and she's that. I'm going to take them out. Oh, and the whole crew is excited behind the scenes. He found an earth angel. We're going to drain them like nothing, like nobody's business. Full source, full source. That's what you are to these people. They don't, they don't see you as nothing more than that. There are people in these situations, right? This is where they will always be because they sold their souls. They sold their souls. Some of them sold their souls involuntarily. Some of them voluntarily. Some of them are trapped. In these situations, they can't get out. Some of these people, you see them through their eyes. It's asking, it's begging for help. There's nowhere to go for help. Okay? 
So the man, the woman that's, you know, found you, they find them earth, the earth angel. They're reporting back to the crew. This person is going to play you very well. You may even end up marrying some of these people and the whole time you don't realize you're a full source for these people. They've told him, told her what exactly they need to do to make sure they hold on to you. Now, let's say things go down the line. Things progress. Uh-huh. And then toxicity starts showing itself. Someone has been playing a role for a long time. They start glitching. You know there's a glitch in the matrix. There's always a glitch in the matrix. Hello. I will be one of those glitches. There's always a glitch in the matrix. Okay. This person, they start forgetting their lines, forgetting their role, forgetting the character they were playing. Things start showing. And you're like, who the heck did I get married to? Uh-huh. Mm. Now, you're feeling like you're having an out-of-body experience, right? Because the person you got married to is not the person you're seeing. You can't figure it out. You cannot figure it out. You said, what in the world is going on? I married a Prince Charming. Not an ogre. Oh, baby. Disappointments. Nothing but disappointments. Okay? Someone don't offer you up as a sacrifice to a whole in, uh, 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 master of theirs. Because this is the master they worship behind the scenes. They don't tell this man, this woman, this creature that they can have you. They, they can have you, right? Oh, that creature, that man, that woman, they know they can't have you. But since this person has been able to fool you and hold on to you for years, that creature plays along. You say, well, you know, he, 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 she, they're with the earth angel. We've been manifesting and harvesting their energy for years, so I'll let this slide. But that creature right there, he knows it, it, this is not forever. That earth angel is going to wake up one day mm -hmm, and decide to free themselves. That's when the truth of the matter exposes itself. Now this person that's been trapping you all these years realizes they're stuck in a situation too. Oh, honey, the universe is big on balance. They're trapped in a situation because now that it's time for them to go all out and sacrifice the earth angel... God steps in and says, oh, no, 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 this has gone far enough. The earth angel said that they want to leave. So they're leaving because in these situations, the earth angels always have the upper hand. Okay? They always have the upper hand. As long as they're not indulging in the darkness, not participating in nothing uh, voluntarily, like they're not out here scouting other people voluntarily, Things like that. They're not doing things off of their free will. Oh, source is always with them. They always have the upper hand. So now that that earth angel decides to free themselves from this madness, that person that came and trapped you in that situation, guess what? This is what they're in. They're stuck because the devil wants what this person promised to them. The devil said, you told me I was going to have an earth angel to sacrifice on this date. Where's the earth angel? Give me time. That's what he's going to say. That's what she's going to say. Give me time. I'm looking for the earth angel. What do you mean you're looking for the earth angel? Aren't you married to the earth angel? Oh, well, she left. He left. I just need time to get to them. Listen. These kind of groups here, they know. They know you're not getting that person back. Okay? So... All those false promises you're making, talking about you're going to get them back because they know once the universe removes that person out of your energy, that's it. Now you're trapped. You're in debt to that master because you made false promises to them. You made false promises. Okay? So now you're out here trying to trap an earth angel. Now earth angels... Where you all go wrong, which is where the toxic to uh, soul ties come in place, is that when you leave these situations, you don't heal from them. You jump from one situation to the next one, from one situation to the next one. And as you do that, you are creating soul ties with people. 
before when you leave one situation one karmic situation before you get into no, the next one there needs to be a time period of you putting in work to heal seeing the situation from as many perspectives as you can trying to understand why something went the way it did this is all part of the healing process that people try to avoid you need to look before you leave a and get to b you need to look and you need to heal you need to go within and most importantly you need to forgive forgive this crazy person here that's now trapped in their uh, madness okay you need to forgive this person when you don't forgive them it gives them power over you it keeps a hold on you that is how soul ties uh, are created and kept in place when you don't forgive okay release all of the anger release all of the bitterness release all of the disappointments when you think of that person send them positive energy okay it's not taking nothing away from you what it's actually doing is releasing your abundance your blessings it's releasing you from that self-imposed imprisonment because oftentimes when people do things to us what do we say oh i hope this happens to them i hope that happens to them you'll never have a da 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 no 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 just simply forgive them and when you start forgiving it does not mean you're going to believe it wholeheartedly initially that you forgive them but you are encouraged to keep saying i forgive you i forgive you and you say that for, how, for however many long you need to until you forgive that person okay that's how you break soul ties it's nothing more complicated than that use your words use your mind use your tongue a lot of us have been disempowered on how to manifest in our own lives okay yeah this is this cause we're blind the word has set up set us up in a way where we create our own stalemates we block our own paths. You know, everything is right in front of us. The answers are right within us, but we've been programmed in a way where we block our own path because our view, our views are limited. Okay, so until you go within and start forgiving, uh-huh, healing, those soul ties are gonna stay attached to you. No one's gonna remove them. I'm telling you, you got to do the work. And you need to turn to source for that, your ancestors. Ask them for help. But as far as people outside of you, breaking those soul ties for you, nah-uh. You got to do that inner work. You can go to the highest paid practitioner in the world. They cannot help you break a soul tie until you are ready to break that soul tie yourself. So people can keep going to... These practitioners and paying $10,000, $8,000, $12,000, whatever they pay. It is up to you to break your soul ties. Okay? A practitioner cannot forgive a toxic ex for you. Does that make sense? Jean cannot forgive Billy for Billy hurting you. That's not Jean's burdens. That's your burdens. Okay, that is your burdens. Yeah, that is your burdens. You are in some type of self-imposed imprisonment, and you're looking to outside forces to break those, to, to break you free. Only you can break yourself free out of that. Only you. No one else can do it. So until you take the initiative to do it. You're going to keep attached to these people. As someone that's been watching my channel, I pick up on your energy sometimes. You've been with the same woman for I don't know how long, and she don't do nothing but cost you towers and burdens. Nothing but towers and burdens. This woman treats you like a piece of S-H-I-T. And every day, this is you in your head. In your head. When you should be standing your ground, you stay in your head. You know why you're in your head? Because you've given your power away to this woman. Yeah. You've given your power away to this woman. 
This is you, a magician, a whole magician out here. You've given your power away. And this is why you're in this energy all the time. You have a whole grown man that a woman treats like a piece of S-H-I-T. And you have the audacity to be sitting there worried. You're supposed to be in your emperor energy. But this is you. Every day. Every day, this is your routine. Burden. Worry. Looking for validation from a woman that don't even have it for herself. I guess I'm telling the truth about you. Let's get back into our reading. Break those soul ties so you can live abundantly. Someone is out here pissed off because a decision has been made to release someone's blessings. Okay? Someone's coming out of hiding. There's something these people did to... to Make it that you're not able to do anything or they didn't want you doing anything. I'm not, not wanting you to move forward. Someone is realizing that, that whatever decision they made, listen, they made their decision, right? They picked some type of, I don't know, plan, option, whether it's a woman, a position, or to steal or something. And it, it did nothing but keep them stuck. It did nothing but keep them stuck. Someone is finding themselves stuck with a group of people. Uh-huh. Someone is finding themselves stuck with a group of people they don't want to be around, okay? Someone may have offered, uh, I don't know what they, what they, oh, it says someone went to, I don't know if this is like a, a master of theirs, or they made some type of agreement, some type of proposal was made to someone and they accepted it. They were supposed to deliver someone. On a specific date within a specific time frame that time frame has passed so because they were not able to fulfill their end of the bargain oh they're stuck in here they're stuck and they have to fulfill their end of the bargain some way somehow since they're not able to have you fulfill the promises that they made they got to come through how are they gonna come through you know, the devil is very uh, creative. Oh, yeah, that brother, that sister, that creature, he's, he, she, it is very creative. When it comes to you returning on investment, that sucker said, I invested in you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I invested in you, and you're going to have to do some return on investment. I don't give nothing for free. I don't give nothing for free. You want something for free, you're going to have to talk to my father upstairs. I live downstairs. Okay? So someone has put themselves in a bind. They're not able to come out of with a toxic family. There's a whole family fighting behind the scenes, arguing all kinds of stuff, and they put themselves in this situation. These people are used to, to being able to destroy other people's lives. Light workers, by the way. This is something they've been doing time and time again. They see you, they send someone to worse you, to uh, 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 gaslight you, play with your emotions, set things up to make it look like they genuinely care about you, whether it's friendship, romance, professional, or whatever. They're, they're sending someone to worse you. They picked up, they barked up the wrong tree with an earth angel and they're finding out this, finding this out. These people are fighting amongst themselves. Someone broke some type of law they should not have. Someone did something in either in this community. Someone did something. And it's causing mayhem amongst these people. And it's nothing but calamities ahead of these people. Emotions are all over the place. Emotions are all over the place. You have a masculine in here that feels stuck because he chose... To partner up with either a woman in this community and it's not going too well. Excuse me. A woman in this community. It's not going too well. Someone could be being blackmailed. They say, if you don't do this, I'm going to show this. I'm going to take this to the authorities. First of all, one, if someone tells you they're going to expose you to a character. Let's say you have someone you're interested in or you have a family member or something. And someone has recorded you or did something, has some type of evidence. And they say, if you go to that person to do the right thing, I'm going to go and expose you to them. 
I will still go and do it because that black male you're allowing them to hold over you is them having your power, them taking your power. That's them holding you bonded to them. It's not just this lifetime. It's going to be in the next. When you incarnate the next lifetime, the same cycle is going to play out. So until you real find out how to get yourself out of that situation. And this is why I say I joke, I laugh at myself before someone laughs at me. I'm one of those people, if I do something, oh, I'm going to tell you I did it. So you don't feel like you have any type of advantage over me. Never. Did you do this? Yeah. Sometimes you don't even, most of the times you don't even have to ask if I did it. I'll tell you. I remember I was working under a woman and I had did something and I told her about it. I said something and she said, don't be telling on yourself. I said, oh, it's okay, honey. It's okay. I don't got nothing to hide. These are the types of people when they do stuff, they try to hide it. And that's how you're building skeletons. And this is why people have a vintage over you because you're trying to hide it. Why are you trying to hide it? Why are you afraid of people? Why? Why? When someone has a blackmailing on you, right? Blackmail. Because more than likely the person is blackmailing you. There's something about them too. They don't want people to find out. Do your digging. You can also go to speak to a lawyer privately. Don't take appointments. Wink, wink. Don't take appointments. Go in and speak to them. Explain the situation to them and tell them this is what I'm trying to do. What are my options? What do I do? Okay? But you letting someone blackmail you into doing something that's going to keep you bound there for lifetimes, you, you're BSing with yourself. You are BSing with yourself. You're playing with yourself, your future. Yeah, honey, you are playing with your future. Because what to, what's to say that you can trust that person that if you do what they're telling you to do, they're not still going to go and give this evidence to the authorities. What's, to say, what's, what's there to say they're not going to do that? What's the proof? First of all, someone's already telling you that they will stop at nothing to get what they want. They don't care what they got to do. They don't care who they have to step over, including you. And they know you're not into activities like that, but they're blackmailing you and forcing you to participate in it. Someone is exposing their character to you already, but you're there trying to hush, hush things. You better decide, pick a side, pick a side, because you can't serve two masters. Even the Bible says that. One man cannot serve two masters. Okay? One man cannot serve two masters. I'm telling you. It never ends well. So there may be church folks in here serving one master on Sunday and serving a different master on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay? So the master on Sunday is going to feel neglected because he's not getting enough days. I.e., those are people that go to, those are hypocrites, basically. Nothing but the truth. Those are hypocrites. They serve God on Sunday only. The rest of the week, they're into all the low vibrational activities you can think of on the face of this earth. But they think going to church on Sunday is going to free them. Right? It's going to heal them. Forgive them. Nah, that's not how Christianity works. Okay? There's a truth being exposed about a toxic family, a toxic couple. The truth is out about them. These people are about to go through a divorce, separation, losing their wealth, finances. These people have barely been holding on. Excuse me, I don't know why I always mess up my cars. Barely holding on. Okay, to their finances because they invested in the wrong thing. So they're stuck in some type of unhappy marriage. Someone is in some type of unhappy marriage. In this community, oh honey, it's a lot of them in unhappy relationships. But they're so focused on you, they're, they're forgetting all of that. They say, yeah, 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 no, we're miserable, but we want to focus on you. They said, don't you want to take care of your life? Heal those aspects of your life so you can be happy. No, 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 no. We want to focus on you. 
We want to destroy your life. We're not happy, so we don't want you to be happy either. Oh, but you don't have any authority to call judgment in our lives, though. So how are you going to do that? We're going to block this. We're going to block that. We're going to uh, stalk you. We don't really care, though, because the Most High has always better for us. So thanks for the entertainment. Listen, these kind of people, <laughs> these kind of people here, They are in a nightmare of their own. And the sad part is that a lot of the times they don't realize they're in a nightmare. Because oh, what we're doing has worked before. Yeah, it worked before. Until you come across that one earth angel, it doesn't work on. Now what do you do? They don't know what to do with themselves. All their secrets are coming out. There's a couple in here. All of their secrets are coming out. Everything they do behind the scenes, whether it's Monashi Twats, whether it's uh, stuff uh, in the dark, on the dark web, whatever they're doing is all coming out. Someone is being dismantled by source. A couple, a couple is being dismantled by source. This was their destiny the whole time they were coming after you for the truth to come out. Source sat back and let these people take action against someone. He said, oh, you go ahead. Invasion of privacy, go ahead. You're not going to find nothing. They were trying to find something on someone so they could get them trapped in something illegal. These are the kind of people, they come in and give you a friendship, and the whole time they're invading your privacy to see if they can find some type of evidence on you, and they can get you into uh, 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 doing things with your body with other people, you know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to keep it PG-13 on here. These are the kind of people that come in your life just to trap you in madness. And the universe sat back and let a couple or a community carry out some type of plan. Lying, defamation, slander, stalking, everything, theft. They let them carry out all of those things. And source was like, yeah, and at a specific time, everything that you're doing is going to be exposed. Not just in regards to this one earth angel, but everything else from the past is coming out too. People are going to see you for exactly who you are. This couple has legal problems coming in. You have legal issues coming in. You have legal issues coming in. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. You invaded someone's privacy. You've been stalking people, monitoring people, illegal surveillance, illegal investigation. Someone's been out here acting like they are a law enforcement personnel. Say, oh, I'm an FBI. I'm a, I'm a PI. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you are not. And you're all going to be going down together. Okay. So now that the truth is out, I don't know if this couple is trying to escape and go have a new... Oh, baby, I'm telling you. <laughs> I said escape and the six of swords comes out. So they are trying to escape. Where are you going to escape to? The authorities are on you people's behind like white on rice. You ain't going nowhere. My friend, will you sit down? Will you be quiet? Talking about you're fleeing the scene. Fleeing the scene to where? Where? You're not escaping. This is the thing with people. Yeah, you're, you ain't escaping. Poverty is the road ahead for the both of you. This, are, this is the thing with people. They'll do all the nonsense behind the scenes, cause problems for other people. Now when it's time to fist up to their karma and they want to flee. Where are you going to flee? Don't you remember we live in a globe? Where are you going to go in circles? My head is everywhere. Karma is everywhere. Even let's say you did go and escape to another country. There's something that's going to happen to you in that country that's going to be far worse than what was going to happen to you here. They're trying to run because the truth is out about them, especially the masculine. Oh, he's trying to run, run. Where will he hide? Where are you going to hide, sir? 
Where are you gonna hide? We see you. We see you. Like my baby said, Peekaboo, I see, I see you too. Except she says, Peekaboo, I love you. I love you too, baby. But him, what's love got to do with it? Oh, baby, I'm telling you, it's a failure. Ain't nowhere for you to hide. Peekaboo, we see you. We, yeah, the road ahead is difficult, rough, cold. Mm -hmm. Whatever community you've been a part of, they are excommunicating you for something you did to a Queen of Cups. You are being excommunicated for something you did to a Queen of Cups. Someone saw you, Queen of Cups, and they said, oh, I got to tarnish their image. I'm going to prove to people that this person is not wholesome. They wanted to prove to people that you are not wholesome. No one, no one should work with you. Nothing. They say, I'm going to defame you. I'm going to uh, destroy your image. People are going to see you as nothing. You know why they did that? Because that person feels like nothing within themselves. Like nothing. No one is ever not nothing. I'm telling you, this is the road ahead of you. No one is ever not nothing. The problem is that people are not practical and refuse to go within about what it is they're doing, the choices they're making, and the plans that they always go with never ends well. It's always negative because they fail to use foresight that there are people in life you're not meant to temper with because they come with a level of protection uh -huh, that's not meant to be fooled with. You don't understand why they are so protected. Some people are protected physically and spiritually. And the people protecting them physically, you will never know. you never see. So when you're taking actions, trying to destroy them, guess what? You're on surveillance just like you were surveilling them. Uh, uh, and there are people always committed behind the scenes to make sure you go down. So while you're busy trying to destroy these genuine people, guess what? The people you are working with, there's always someone amongst you that's working to take your behind down. Okay? Conflict. You brought nothing but conflict to a community. Where will you go? Where will you hide? Nowhere. The law is coming for you. Okay, dear? Justice will prevail. Someone's on the run. Run, 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 run. Psycho killer. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, I told you. Where are you going to run? Where are you going to run? Nowhere. You have legal issues coming in. Your crimes, your actions, your deeds have all caught up to you. I bet you thought you would never see the day when your friends could not get you out of the uh, uh out of a, a rock between a rock and a hard place. You never thought you would see the day that someone could not help you get out of your your nonsense that you created for yourself. You know those uh, uh, uh people in society where. They just have a nasty sense of entitlement. Real nasty. They can be doing the most horrendous thing to someone. And you can tell them, man, you're foul as hell. You shouldn't do that. And they don't care, right? Because what? They know they have someone behind the scenes that's going to help them get out of it. They've gotten away with it many, many times before, right? And they think it's going to happen the same way too. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. There are certain beings alive. Even if physical justice, human justice does not step in to bring balance. Oh, divine justice. Oh, honey, you can't run from that one. This one right here, you can't run from this. Oh, they'll make sure, make sure. This is when you magically start losing your finances, lose your home, lose your marriage, losing a child, losing everything. End up on the street begging for money. Begging, honey, begging. Okay. So you may not face physical consequences as far as going to jail, in prison, uh, in the human realm. But honey, the, 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 the turn of events that's about to happen for you, mm, sorrows, I'm telling you, sorrows, sorrows. Nothing but endings, failures ahead of you. Poverty is the road ahead of you, dear. Poverty, there's a karmic couple. That's about to be flipped, turned upside down. And the justice that the universe has ordained is final. Oh, yeah. This was all planned, just like I said. 
The universe stopped back and let you do everything malicious. Justice was already called on you before you even started. Judgment was already made before you started. And that's what you don't get. And whatever court cases you all have coming up, you toxic karmic, uh, toxic couples, uh, 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 communities, it's not going in your favor. Okay. It's not going in your favor. Everything you've done to block these folks, the source is stepping in to undo it all. You take one cent, they give them 20 cents. You take a hundred dollars, they give them a hundred thousand. Oh, source, sources out here just handing it out. So balance, balance, balance. And here's more for collateral damages. Yeah, this is you, brother, because the truth is out about you. What you've been doing behind the scenes. You've been so afraid of the truth coming out, not wanting someone to give some type of information about what you've been doing, but it's out. You thought no one would ever find out. And this is you. This is your future. This is you for the rest of this lifetime. You should have been practical. Should have been practical. You were paying people all kinds of money. You pay people so much money that you diminish your wealth and assets to go to this. I'm pretty sure you were in like a ten of pentacles when all of this started. Or when, when you started doing this to people. But you've overindulged so much. This is you now. Trying to hold on to the little bit you have left. You better find you a counsel. Oh, baby. Listen, I said you better find you a counsel when I split the deck. Yeah. You better find you some legal counseling. Because the people around you, they're fed up with you. They're not with you anymore. I'm telling you, they're not with you. Yeah, you started off in this before you started coming for people. This is not the first person you came for. This is not the first person you came for. You've done this before. You've done this before. You have done it before. Yeah, you, yeah you've done it before. Ain't nothing good going on in this family, this institution. Whatever this is, there's nothing good going on. This queen of king of cups is removing himself from the situation. I don't know if he's turning his back on his family. I'm not per se getting like a negative sense from him, but I'm, I feel like he's removing himself from this family. Don't want nothing to, nothing to do with them anymore. Don't want nothing to do with them anymore. All of their lives are upside down because there's too much truth out. All of their lives are upside down. And this is judgment by the universe. Someone was called by their ancestor to write something and he decided not to. He stayed mute. This is like someone sitting by and watching people do something to someone and he does nothing to stop it. Because I don't know if he lives in fear or whatever this is. Okay? So the universe is balancing it out. I'm telling you. Nothing but still mixed for these people. Nothing but still mixed difficulties. Unable to see the truth. There's something. They're all fighting amongst themselves. This is what happens when, you know, I, I've never understood how some families can be so abundant, but yet so miserable in life that they will still have time to try and cause mayhem in other people's life. I feel like if you are that abundant in life, you shouldn't have time to even think about little old Mary down there minding her business, planting her crops, you know, living her farm life that disgusts you. Mary is happy in her farm life. You're happy in your castle. Why not leave Mary alone? Mary ain't worried about you in your castle. Mary's happy living her farm life, feeding her chickens, goats, milking her cows. She's happy down there. You're in, it, it sounds that both parties have what they want. Mary wants her farm life. You want your castle life. You have your castle. Why are you bothered that Mary is happy? On her farm. Because you don't understand sentimental values. Mary's farm has been passed down to her for generations. Right? So Mary, that farm is all she knows. That's what she loves. 
It is dearest to her to her heart. So she put her blood and sweat in it every day. And you know what? When Mary is taking her last breath on her bed, she's going to pass that down to either her daughter or her son. And it's going to stay in their family uh, bloodline for ages to come. Maybe sometime, sometime uh, down the line, Billy will come in. Billy say, you know, this farm has been in our family for a long time. I just, I'm tired. I'm going to hire people to take care of the farm so I can rest. We're well off. They don't want to change that farm. It's part of their lineage. You have your castle, however way you got your castle. Because the castle, I know back in the days, the monarchs, they will pass it down to the next person in their bloodline. Even though most of the time they were offering their offsprings. So the offspring wouldn't get the castle. So I don't know how you all got your castle. Probably stole it. But that's not the matter right now. But if you're happy in your castle, leave Mary alone. The reason you're bothering Mary on her farm is because you're not happy. So you don't want to see Mary happy. Does that make sense? Think about that analogy and see if you can figure it out. These people are in a stalemate. The couple, yeah, they're in a, these people, the whole community, the couple, they're in a stalemate fighting amongst themselves. It's chaos behind the scenes because the truth is out. People have been lying for a long time, possibly about an empress energy, about someone's abundance, trying to steal some type of abundance from someone. It's like you build something for yourself or you establish something for yourself. People go behind the scenes trying to steal it like it belongs to them. And now they realize they can't steal it. So they try to bring you legal issues. They can't do that either because they've been invading you. Some of they've been invading some of you's lives. Trying to find evidence that you're not who you say you are, that you are into illegal activities and things like that. Because you have people out here saying that you sell yourself and things like that and you don't do nothing. They say this person don't do nothing. All they do is stay home and mind their business. Someone may be in here saying maybe we need to learn how to do that. Maybe we need to learn how to mind our business. So they've tried every ankle. Nothing is working because there is nothing to be doing to someone. So there are people out here after these earth angels, like it's, it's their full-time job. We got to find something on him. We got to find something on her so we can trap him, bring him issues. Why are you trying to bring issues for someone? There are also karmic groups. They don't have any gifts or abilities. Since you're the star seed, you have the gifts and abilities. They want to be able to misuse your gifts and abilities. That's not happening. The universe is never going to allow a gift or ability to be misused. No. That's why you see some high, high priestesses are of the dark. Their lives are just miserable. They can't have money, but they're not fulfilled in life because they're misusing their gifts. And them being miserable in their lives with all that money is a curse. That's their karma the source has put on them. It's how I give you these gifts to use to heal the world, to help other people, not to be out here doing darkness with it, doing negative things with it. So a lot of those dark priestesses you go to, oh, none of, none of them are fulfilled in life because they're always worried about when is the next paycheck coming in. They only care about money because why else will you get into dark work? Why? So these people are trying to temper with someone's abundance. This is the energy you're supposed to be in. They don't want you in that. So they're trying to shake you up so you can end up in poverty. They're headed to poverty. You're secure. They need to be practical, actually. Some of these people need to be practical. They refuse to be. Someone does not want to compromise is what I'm hearing. You're going to have to. You don't have a choice. Because this is your future again. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. And there are people amongst you that are afraid to live in poverty, but they didn't care about having other people live in poverty. The skills have to be balanced out. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. Calamities. And while you are going through poverty, this is what's coming for the people that you've been trying to destroy. Trying to destroy, I'm telling you, and they're out here healing. You're trying to destroy these people, and they're still out here taking the motion, the action to heal. Make it make sense. 
someone is about to have to, I don't know what they're going to have to do, but the community they are in is not going to be safe for them anymore. Nobody trusts you. Nobody believes any lies you're telling. People know they cannot take anything as face value for you. Someone out here pretends to be a religious character. Maybe like a Baptist or something. Someone says that, they, I don't know why the word Baptist came out. Someone pretends to be like a Baptist person. Like he's his background or something like that. Someone is nothing but a fool. This person can't even remember the last time he prayed. And if he's praying now, it's because all the truth is coming out about him. Right? Everything he did is coming out about him. Nothing is hidden anymore. Okay? Nothing. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Nothing is hidden anymore. It's all released. Someone out here. This is what this is the tool they use to get people to turn against you. They, they pretend to be religious. And then they tell people, oh, there's only one God. Whatever they're believing in, they're teaching people the wrong way. They're leading people astray. The whole time, it's this religious figure figure that's leading people astray with lies and manipulations. Don't even believe in what they're talking about. It don't got to be a preacher. It can just be a religious character, someone that considers themselves to be religious publicly, if I may say. Talking about, I don't think we should be believing in that. There's something wrong with that person. But the whole time, you're a whole hypocrite out here on the dark web. They said, I'm hearing that someone that pretends to be religious is into the dark web activities. Something about, uh, 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 like, I don't even want to say, like children or something like that. Like, someone's, like some type of recording and video, someone sells it on the dark web. Someone has some type of account on the dark web. Someone is dark, 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 like dark, dark. They make money in dark ways. Like someone has no boundaries on how they will make money. Very dark. Very dark. These people are at a stalemate. I'm telling you because everything is being corrected. The truth is being seen. The truth about your character. You're someone in the upright. Okay? Your character is being seen. The truth is exposed about you. So whatever lies someone was telling before that you were shady, you were dark, it's not true. Okay? The seven of wands has to do sometimes, just sometimes with court cases. But this really has to do with someone being in the upright, solid as a rock, solid as a rock. Yeah. Like your character. And because you know, you are solid as a rock, you will defend your character. You will defend yourself. You're standing your ground to defend your morals, your ethics, your values. So that's what a lot of you have been doing. You didn't know you were doing it, but by you staying true to yourself, that's what you were doing. And by doing that, the truth has come out. People know the truth about a matter now, a situation. Why someone is so obsessed with you? Why someone has been so obsessed with taking you down? Even though you're not worried about this person, may not even know this person, by the way. Let's say I create content and someone com comes across my platform and all of a sudden they have a problem with my terror reading. It's like, uh, that's, not, that's not what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, because they come from a religious background, so they have a problem with tarot. They call it the work of the devil or something. Meanwhile, the whole time, they're the one doing the work of the devil. Harvesting energy behind the scenes. Studying esoteric knowledge just to saffing other people's energy. I'm sorry. That sounds a lot like the work of the devil. Because light workers, we don't got to harvest anyone's energies. We have our own. I got enough to go, 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 go many, 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 many galaxies. I got enough of my own. I don't need somebody else's energy. Most light workers, they don't want other people's energy. They say, uh, it's okay, thank you, but I, I stick with mine. Because they don't know what you've been up to behind the scenes. So they don't want your energy tempering with theirs. They say, I just saged and everything. Like, I saged my house last night. Honey, I just saged my house. Uh-uh-uh, you stay over there. 
No, no pun intended, no offense, but no thank you. Okay, we're not out here stealing energies. We don't need to. So someone's character has been exposed as they're in the upright. Okay, they're not lying. They're not liars. They're not whatever. Like someone has been claiming that they are. Not that someone realized that they're stuck in something, living in fear, being rejected by people. Because this is what's happening to someone. People are keeping their distance from this man or woman. They said, nah, no, no, no. You didn't tell us you were doing all of that behind the scenes. Yeah, they're keeping their distance. You didn't tell us you were doing all of this behind the scenes. We thought we were just doing surface level stuff, bullying people, stalking people. That's about it, which I don't know why they were participating. Because possibly he told them that they will garner some type of wealth out of it. These are people that think, oh, if we go and stalk them, it'll make them feel uncomfortable. Honey, with who I the heck I've become, you, you best make sure you bring you a water bottle, some Gatorade, some juice or something. Bring you a snack. Make sure you do a full shift. 7 to 3, 3 to 11, 11 to 7. Make sure the whole shift is, all shifts are covered. We need a morning person, afternoon person, nighttime person. I don't got no money to pay all of you. I ain't paying you to watch me either. If your master has money to pay you, you best be looking to them. But if you're coming to stalk us, make sure you bring you some snack. Bring you some toilet tissue, a commode, something, a pot. Because you're going to be out there for a while trying to get a reaction out of us. You're going to be out there for a while. You got gas to waste. Honey, gas is expensive as heck. And you're out here wasting it to do what? Stalk someone? You're bullshitting. Excuse me, I got to speak the French today. You guys to be mad. Gas is too expensive to be wasting, to be stalking people. Talking about, uh, I'm, I'm going to go past, you know, past uh, their house or something. Oh, they're going to this store. I'm going to go there. Go there. What did that get you? Nothing. Okay. Wasting your time. Wasting your time. Now that the truth is out, they want to run. Run where? Why are you running? You were motivated, remember? And this woman out here again in the reverse. In the reverse. These people are not doing too well. There's a, there's a queen of pentacles. You have legal issues coming in. People are standing up to her, asking her questions. Why did she? Because someone is too old to be acting the way they do. People are asking this woman questions. They're asking her questions. You may have people taking some type of impulsive action to go towards her, to her house, ask her all kinds of questions. Like, why did you tell us this was going on? Someone is going through some type of financial like to. Don't spend all her money trying to block someone else's future. It don't make no sense. This level of stupidity would never make sense to me. You want to tell me I'm going to work hard for my, my money and then take it to go what? Pay for someone's life to be blocked for what? Girl, you, you guys, I'm telling you, she's, girl, you, you are losing a job, a whole job. You are losing a whole job. You don't feel committed anymore. You aren't, you're not committed anymore to the institution or is the institution telling you you got to go? Someone's about to lose a high-paying job. Very high-paying job. Someone's about to lose a very high-paying job. Oh, baby. People are not committed to this woman anymore. I don't even think she's committed. Oh, yeah. You're, you ain't looking too good for you, honey. It's not looking too good for you. You were trying to get someone fired from work, contacting institutions to get people fired from their jobs, cause them endings and things like that. And the universe stepped in to fix it. Someone is heavily protected. Listen, what I just got here. I'm always moving these cars around, put them down and pick them up. 
someone's been trying to temper with the connection between someone and their ancestors. Someone has been trying to temper with the connection between someone and their ancestors. It's like if you're well connected to your ancestors, they want to cause some type of separation. Honey, that kind of stuff don't work. They're probably looking at you like this moron. Probably talking about you in their language and everything. You know how when you go to my people's shop, the African shops, to braid your hair? They be speaking all our dialects and stuff. You go to the Asian uh, nail shop and you all think they're talking about you. Most of the times those people are not talking about you. They're having a whole conversation about stuff going on in their life. They don't care about you all that much. The Asians, I don't know. But the Africans, I used to work in a, bra in a few braiding shops. We ain't talking about you. We are worried about all the problems going on in our lives. They don't care what you got going on, what you don't got going on, whether your hair is dirty, not dirty. All we care about is braiding your hair. You pay us and you get out. That's all they care about. It's a tower. It's a tower. There's something here. I don't know. It's some people they didn't know someone was being monitored, being watched. They didn't know they were being monitored and being watched. As they were monitoring you and watching you, it's out now. Now they know. Now they know. And if you don't know, now you know, tricker. Oh, this woman here, she's going through something, something. This woman was trying to come in and have someone lose their job. Have someone on a live. This is what she was planning for you, collective. This is what this, this woman was planning for someone. They said, fire her, fire him. And we're going to send someone in to do a number on them. You're going to pop out them. And your angels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your angels said, we don't, we don't play like that. You got us effed up in many ways. They said, you got us effed up in more ways than once. And we don't play that. This chapter is over. Oh, your angels moved on that. They moved. They said, oh, you got us effed up. And if that's Gabriel, baby, you, you picked a fight with the wrong one. G Gabriel moves like he's he's from uh, underground. That's because that sucker has everything balancing himself. And he, know, he knows which side to embrace at what time and which side to not embrace at what time. So if you... Have Gabriel upset with you? You you <laughs> you effed up. Ooh, you don't forgot now, Betty. Oh, I'm telling you, that chapter is over, and Gabriel is dragging something out for you. He said he wants you to feel it. Dang. Oh yeah. Gabriel said this chapter here, we're putting an end to it, but the rest of you. There's something the spirit realm is doing, I can't say. But man, these mother suckers definitely are the creator of the game. Life is a game. It is a game. These mother suckers here knows how to play the game. And there is something I see in here. Baby, this community are going through it. It ain't going to get no better. Whatever kind of chess game this is, the spirit realm is playing. It's a nightmare for the enemies. Uh, uh, uh. You have someone trying to leave a community and they're trying to keep him stuck too. Someone maybe feel trapped in a community. He wants to do the right thing. Maybe that's the person they're blackmailing. You, you'll figure it out. He wants to communicate with you, but he, he'll, he'll figure it out. Someone has a very strong intuition. Very strong intuition. And to get yourself out of this trap with them, you're going to have to listen to your intuition. Beat them at their own game. Play their game better than them. Play their game better than them is what I'm, tell, try, is, is what I'm being told to tell you. Okay, 
played your game better than them. Turn to your intuition and play their games better than them. Because as a man in an institution that is being played with by a group of people, they are manipulating him and he knows what they're doing, but he feels trapped with these people. You need to play your game with them, but play it better. You're very gifted, so plan ahead. You're very gifted. You've been ignoring your intuition your whole life. That's why you're in the situation you're in. You're very gifted. You're very gifted. Yeah. Yep. There's someone trapped in an institution. Mentally trapped in an institution. And in order for you to free yourself, you need to play their game better than them. They're not smart. It's what I'm being told to tell you. They are not smart. But you, when you decide to use your brain and your intuition, you are dangerous. The people around you are not smart. They're just malicious. It's what I'm being told to tell you. They're just malicious and greedy. So if you want to beat them, play their games with them. They play a lip. Yeah, play their games with them. This is them. Play your game with them. That's how you'll get out of there. Listen, there you go. I'm telling you. That's how you'll get out of there. You see that? You went from this to this. By listening to your intuition and playing their game better than them. You've been around these people long enough to understand how they operate. Yeah. To understand how they operate. So, dead that situation as soon as possible. Uh -huh. Look at the fine print. Look at the details. Look at the details. You want to free yourself from these people? Look at the details. Something is not what it's supposed to be. Something is not what it's being shown as. So, look at the fine details. Look at the fine print. You're going back and forth in your mind. Yeah, you're going back and forth in your mind about communicating with someone. Doing the right thing. Taking some type of action. But you have foresight of the whole situation. You understand more than what you think you understand. You could have people around you telling you not to hear, not to believe what you're hearing. It's all lies and rumors. It's all gossip. Someone is trying to cause a uh, drama or they're nothing but drama or something like listen to your intuition because if you don't listen to your intuition this is going to be you you see that right there you're very gifted this is going to be you if you don't listen to your intuition mm. They're pl I'm being told they're planning something for you. They're planning something for you. Oh, baby. Sir, I don't know who you are. You're showing up in here as a Sagittarius. You don't got to be a Sagittarius. But they're telling you to be vigilant. Stay alert. Pay attention. Everybody around you, you need to be vigilant of. They are not your friends. Nobody around you is your friend. Nobody is your friend. All those people around you, they're stuck in something they cannot get out of. The car came out again. Be vigilant. So someone is definitely trapped in an institution. These people are planning to end you. They're planning to end you. There's a higher fan that's about to lose a job. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, the, the chess game, the spirit realm plays. I wish I knew it. I wish I knew, honey, because this one here, uh, uh, uh. They're just going tic-tac-toe. Who is it today? You, you are it today. Uh, uh, uh. They're hitting people where they can feel it. Their pockets, their luxuries.
baby. Ooh. Yeah, look at this crazy woman. This woman wants to pick a fight with someone. She's dealing with a lot of... Man, you got to be a special kind of karmic. The, the lowest of vibrational energy to come out as the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands in the reverse. This is just not, this is not just uh, someone who is careless everywhere around, poorly kept. This is someone that lives with anyone. This woman don't even take care of herself. Could be an airhead. Poorly kept. Someone may even uh, sell themselves for money. Oh my God. Mm. This is someone that has a level of codependency See, that is dangerous. Because this is someone that will stalk you. Stalk you. Very irresponsible. Damn. Very irresponsible. And she wanted to take some type of action to come towards another energy to do what? Honey, if you don't sit down somewhere before they, they call you back home. If you don't sit, I'm telling you, if you don't sit down, you've already don't got no money. And you're out here trying to cause yourself more problems. Someone is poorly kept. She don't take care of herself. Don't got no money like myself here. But she's bothered by someone else. She thought she was going to take some type of quick action. This is her burden. Someone is burdened because the truth is being seen about her. These are the kind of women that will uh, 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 show themselves to be uh, uh, an empress energy. Pretend to be that. Pretend to be educated. Don't know nothing. Not a thing. Don't know nothing about life. Girl, if you don't sit in trying to take action to come in and cause someone's, someone problems, you're trying to go back home because that's exactly where you're going to be going. Very manipulative. There's a higher fin. I don't know if this higher fin is either quitting a job or whatever they've been working with, working in. Excuse me. Whatever. Oh, Lord. Excuse me. They don't want it to come out. Whatever this higher fin has been committing himself to, he's no longer committed to it. There could be a higher fin being fired, being let go, or he's letting go of a position and taking back his power to do the right thing in life. I'm going to go with the latter. I feel like this man here, a woman, is letting go of a position, letting go of his connection to an institution, taking back his power, and moving on with his life. Because there's something that is going on and he don't want to be a part of it. He said, this is not what I stand for. This is not what I stand for. Yeah, he's moved. This thing, yeah, this man is moving on. Someone, yeah, okay, it fell out. It fell out, and then what happened? What shows up? The wheel. He's moving on. Oh, look at you, brother. Good job for you. Dang. Someone was stuck with a group of people, and he's removing himself. He's letting go. He's like, I'm done. This is getting to be too much. I can't. Yeah, he's done. Yeah. Sagittarius, whoever you are, I'm just calling you a Sagittarius because you're showing up here as the temperance energy, and that's the Sagittarius in the deck. Plan. Plan, 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 plan. You want to free yourself, you need to plan. Plan ahead. Play these people games with them. Play it better than them. Be the, be the best and worst gladiator at the same time. You're in, that's how you imagine yourself, and it's going to gain you your freedom. I'm telling you, be the best and the worst gladiator. You know how they, back in the days, I don't know how these people felt comfortable to sit down and watch these people just fight, fight, fight to the death. The gladiator that was the bravest, the strongest, the most skilled fighter, nobody wanted to fight him. They were always scared, but they didn't have a choice, right? So that's what you need to become. Be the, be the best and the worst gladiator. Play their game better than them. 
play the game so well that they don't want to play the game no more. Because if you don't, you're going to be out of here. Those people don't mind doing anything to make sure they protect their money. Because that's what it's about the, the whole time. That's all it's about. It's money. So listen to your intuition. She came out. I knew she was going to come out. Yeah, and your intuition keeps coming out. You're someone gifted. Manifesting a new... I'm telling you. You are someone gifted. Skilled as a mother sucker. Skilled as a mother sucker. Someone's upset that you want to communicate with someone else. But that message is coming in. It's coming in. You need to listen to your intuition. There is a man trapped in an institution, in a community, and no one there is there to help you. Anyone you talk to, they are sending information back to the higher us within that institution. So you need to stop talking to them and start playing the game with them. Don't let them know you're playing the game either. Don't, don't let them know anything has changed in you. Just play along. Play along. I heard slow and steady wins the race. Oh, yeah. Remember I, remember I was talking about uh, 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 breaking soul ties? This says ease resentment. Basically, let go of, of uh, uh, resentment. It said embrace forgiveness. And let go of past burdens. I'm telling you. Forgive yourself too. Right here, honey. Right there. I, I feel like I didn't hold it up long enough for you all to see. But yeah. That's how you break soul ties. Is to forgive. Not just the party, but yourself. Forgive yourself as well. You got to find your self-worth. Okay? Find your self-worth. Okay. It says don't compare and stop comparing yourself to other people. Nobody cares what Jean has going on over there. That's her business. Focus on what you have going on. I don't care if you have $10 to your name and Jean has 100000 Nobody cares. Appreciate your $10 until it's multiplying into what it's supposed to be multiplied into. Okay, love on yourself. It said, don't compare. Comparison diminishes your sense of self-worth. Honor your uniqueness. Thank you. I don't care what you are. Fat, tall, skinny, short, purple hair, big nose, no nose, short nose, long nose, whatever it is. Embrace yourself. You are made that way for a specific reason. We all... We all symbolize a specific aspect of creation. And the way you are incarnating, there's some type of karma you're supposed to learn from it. You know how they have all uh, ugly people? Yeah. Or, you know, disabled people. In the spirit realm, there are more souls in line to incarnate as those people than any other. Because there's a lesson that you, you, you earn more merit through those experiences. So disabled people, those suckers are smart as heck. And we all go through that. Incarnating as a disabled person, oh, you are working up a whole lot of karma. A whole lot. Okay? You're doing something to the world as well that you don't understand. Because when you're he you heal people, you awaken some type of compassion in people. How do you do that? When you incarnate as a disabled person, right? You that's not disabled, when you see them, what's the first thing you feel or think? Remorse. You feel compassion for them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're helping heal people in their own way. Even though they seem to be at a disadvantage in the long run, <laughs> they are actually at the advantage because they are helping on a cosmic level and on an individual level as well. Right? Okay. Compare. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Carried away. Let yourself be caught up in the whirlwind of a romantic moment. Unlock your heart. So don't be out here blocking your heart chakra. I know we all have hard experiences with these 
nut kisses out here, these crazy people that come in our lives trying to destroy us and things like that and they think because they leave they leave us, then we're never going to love again. You know, when you have that karmic ex, he or she will say, you'll never find another man like me. You'll never find another girl like me. And you're like, oh, I pray not to. Thank you. Is that a promise? You know, 110%, I'll never meet anyone like you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 777. Seven, seven. Uh, 21, 3. Your purpose flows from within you. And everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. I am the flow. Amen. Stay in that flow too. Stay in that flow. There's something I've been told to tell someone. There's, I don't know if you're like heartbroken or something or someone plays on your emotions or your mind or something like that. There are people that will always come in your life to destroy you, but you got to do what you need to do to get back up and move on. You can't stay in negativity. You can't stay feeling sorry for yourself. That's not going to fix nothing. Okay? There are people that are specifically in your life and you don't meet anyone by accident. Every person you meet, you have some type of contract with them. You have a contract with them. Okay? So there are people you meet in life that are there to teach you a karmic lesson. The universe is trying to see if you're going to let go of these karmic people, these toxic people, so that you can be paired with the right people in life. By the time you leave the karmics and pair up with the healthy people, you're going to go through some type of transformation so that when you connect with the right people, you're not focused on the past. Learn to let go of the past. There's nothing in the past for you. Move forward. If someone tells you, oh, you know, you're not going to make it without me, that's a codependent person. Because you didn't say you wouldn't make it without that person. They told you you wouldn't make it without them. That's a codependent person projecting onto you. Let them go. Drop them. Like a piece of S-H-I-T. Drop them. Drop them. Okay? Anyways, 777. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.